Welcome. I'm your hostess, Jackie. This bonus mini cast begins in the kitchen. Not the way you were thinking. No, it starts with the cleaning of my kitchen. Since my ankle surgery, I have been building up strength and flexibility in my foot. Standing on it, turning on it, all sorts of movement that we take for granted have been beyond my reach. But I've been doing physical therapy and I'm slowly improving. This past week, I began my attack on my kitchen. It was a mess. There were piles of things that needed to be sorted. I have more counter space than a girl really has a right to, but it also means that things settle. They just find a place and sprawl. So I hit my kitchen and put away stuff. I washed, I scoured, and turned it into something I was proud to show off to company, which was the reason I needed to clean it. Company was coming. Like, real company. Not the close family or friends that are like family, which have pretty much been the only people I've seen for the last two years. No, but I mean people you want to impress. I was on my foot for at least two hours, which was the first time since surgery I've been able to push myself like that. I was actually very proud of myself. And my kitchen shined. The kitchen and the nook had taken on a clean, calm, zen-like magazine quality that I was not wanting to mess up. For several days, meals were either takeout, sandwiches, salads, Things that were very easy to clean up. Then I decided it was time to make a real mess in my beautiful kitchen. What would be the first thing I made for this inaugural mess? Banana bread. Oh, I've been thinking about that recipe since my first failed attempt. I recently discovered this fantastic quote from Ariana Huffington. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of success. This is such a flip on my point of view. Not being perfect is part of the journey. You're not supposed to be perfect. That's gonna be a hard one for me really to internalize and accept. But I like the idea of it. I'm gonna work on that. Step one on my journey was to gather all the ingredients on the list. I didn't miss any of them this time. I even followed the mixing the wet stuff in my KitchenAid mixer first, then put the dry stuff in a bowl, and then folded it into the wet. Now, most of my life, I would have just dumped it all in the KitchenAid mixer and switched the lever. But no. This time, I was going to follow the directions. I was not doing my chaos. I sort of felt like I was on an episode of the Great British Bake Off. I folded in the dry stuff with my special baking spatula. I was orderly and focused. Well, mostly focused. I was still listening to my latest podcast, Obsession. I've mentioned this podcast before, I think, It's a wonderful lie. They take Christmas letters and then discuss them. Oh, this thing has me in stitches. It is so good. I decided to listen to that instead of my usual kitchen jazz music. I felt that jazz might encourage me to improvise and just do whatever I was feeling or wanted to do and be a hip cat. But not this time. This was about being orderly. I even put all the ingredients for the cream cheese filling in a bowl and pulled out my hand mixer. I've never owned a hand mixer until COVID. It was a whim purchase. I'd been watching a lot of the Bake Off with Kevin. 
we started using terms like good bake. I even knew what the heck proving meant. I made a vow to honestly no one in particular. I would never make my own folded puff pastry unless it was a matter of life or death. I, I've seen them making that stuff. It really looks like a special kind of torture. No, no thanks. Not going to do that. So anyway, there was a sale on a hand mixer and I've been watching the show and I was like, oh, I might need one of those. So I ordered it. You know, hey, we all did crazy things during the height of COVID. Okay, so let's not judge me too harshly. That hand mixer. Okay, it was pretty awesome. I couldn't believe how satisfying it was watching the cream cheese and the sugar and the flour all cream together, watching it fold and and dance under the beaters there was this rhythmic beautiful pattern it was making and i love my kitchenaid mixer it is the foundation of every kitchen but i will admit it doesn't have that same level of intricate art that that the hand mixer does i it was lovely so i poured the banana bread batter into the pan, then the cream cheese mixture, and then more banana bread batter on top. I applied the fancy sugar topping. No, you're not going to get me to say the name because I still can't pronounce it. Go ahead, judge. I don't care. And I cooked it for 50 minutes per instructions. Did the toothpick test. Didn't come out clean. So I put in for another 13 minutes. Then it was all good. I took it out let it cool, put it on a rack. It looked and smelled beautiful. Then finally I cut it and I think something's gone wrong, folks. I followed the recipe, but that smooth cream cheese layer wasn't there anymore. It, it, it cooked into the bread. There is this middle section of the loaf now That's now like cream cheese banana bread, not like a layer of cream cheese filling in the middle of banana bread. It's morphed in some like combo. I I don't know how to explain it. I'm not sure that is how it's supposed to go. I don't think that it is. Okay, bakers out there, help a girl out. I, I think I've learned two ways not to make this bread. I mean, the bread actually is pretty good the way that it is and... And I like it okay, but I think I need to learn how to prevent the cream cheese mixture from spreading and oozing and and baking into the bread and actually be like a layer of cream cheese and like then the bread would be the bread. Or or am I wrong? Was this supposed to happen the whole time? I don't know. I'm going to put photos of this up on my Facebook page. You can take a look and tell me. What do you guys think? I would love some help on this. At least this time, I do have food and it's edible. So, you know, I'm I'm better off than before. Not the conclusion I was hoping for either, but you know, this is this is a journey. Before I end though, I got another food related tale for you. This is not my own story. This comes from my pen pal Sonia in Missouri. She and her buddy Tina had gone to a place called A Slice of Pie. And oh, doesn't that have the most inviting name of any establishment? I want to go there. So Sonia ordered some Trey Southern peach pie. Tina got a slice of cheesecake. For the record, Tina, I'm with you. Cheesecake, oh, that is the chef's kiss in my book. So, according to Sonia, they are eating their heavenly concoctions, and this little boy and his dad come in to the bakery. At which point, the little boy turns to his father and he asks, What's a coochie? The ladies, you know, they're in hearing distance from their table. Their eyes are getting as big as saucers and, you know, can't help be like, oh, what is going on? The dad replies very calmly. What do you mean, son? 
the boy points to the board. The dad sagely explains, son, that's a quiche. It's an egg pie with ham and cheese in it. Sonia almost fell out of her chair. That, according to her, the look on the worker's face was priceless who was behind the counter. By the way, big shout out to the dad. You handled that like a champ. You didn't get angry or overreact. You know, he just asked some follow-up questions. Never made his son feel bad because he mispronounced a word that, you know, hey, how many times have we all done that? We saw a word in print. We didn't know how it was pronounced. You know, and his dad's like, oh, okay, nope, that's, this, it's pronounced quiche, kid. That, that's how it works. Okay, that's all good. You know, you get a gold star there, Pops. So do you have any baking advice for this one? Maybe a cannot fail recipe to share? I'd love to hear about them. Please share them over at my Jackie Lynn's Author Facebook page. I will include the link in the episode description. As always, dear listener, thank you for joining me. If you're enjoying the podcast, remember you can follow on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music. They come out every other Thursday. I would be delighted if you left a review or shared with a friend. You can also listen to Jackie Just Chatters on YouTube. Whatever your goal, folks, may you have lots of luck and patience as you deal with your failures on the way to success. I wish you well.